Hello and welcome back to the Power of Muscle podcast, brought to you by Mind Muscle Memory. I'm your host, Miles Betra, and today we're going to look at simple, simplifying, getting definition for your abs. And that abdominal definition that is uh, on the target for so many people, it's uh, sort of a goal, and they uh, struggle sometimes and really trying to make sense of it and try to make sure that those abdominal muscles get that definition. So we like to simplify this with mind muscle memory and the power of muscle uh, system, which is where we look at at the muscle tone you have. It's it's very strong muscle tone in order to get those abdominals to have that definition. But you have to combine what you're eating, right, to to make sure that you have body fat levels, which you can show the definition in the firmness of the muscles, and the the nutrition plan that you have impacts how that body fat layer is on your abdominal area. And then the second part of it is, is that we want to start actually from the extremities and work our way in with the definition. So to simplify this for you, you're, you're not going to have the definition on the abdominal area and the strength and muscle tone in the abdominal area if you don't work on the arm muscle tone and definition first and the leg muscle tone and definition and then the hips and the shoulders, that muscle tone and definition and then working your way in from there to the very center. So when you see our muscle equalizer uh, plan in our system, uh, of training, we train to get the the hinge joint of the elbow and the hinge joint of the knee and the ball and socket of the shoulder and the ball and socket of the hips. We need to get those nice and tone and firm and gain de- definition in them first as we work our way inward to get the definition onto the abdominal wall and to get that six pack. And there's as we had so let's go back to the beginning here and we're talking about the fact that. Uh, we can't do that if we're not having some fuel in our tank, right? So there's some some uh, fads going on now about having a fasting workout and, and those things. And we want to help to dispel some of the myth here that you're not going to, you know, uh, if you're going to do that, you might go for a walk or do some bike riding, something like that before you do you say your morning uh your morning uh, breakfast or your morning snack uh, so that's the time to, to probably do that but if you're going to try to fast during the day and then try to do a strength workout or a higher intensity workout you're going to have no fuel in the tank your blood sugars are going to be low and you're going to get very fatigued and you're not going to have your best workout to actually get those muscles toned so when we say fasting workout the myth that you can just do that any time of the day and have a better workout is not there. Your blood sugars are not going to be supportive to a good solid workout and to make the muscles move properly and not get uh, to where you're, you know, you could even have low blood sugars and potentially have nausea, vomiting or, or pass out. If you're trying to do that, um, you know, I, I tell you a story, I remember so many times that being uh, working with clients, being on the fitness floor uh, from the early days, all you know, back way, you know, back when I first was working in uh, fitness clubs, all the way through, is that in this in the springtime, we're always on the lookout for somebody who's trying to do their cardio hit training or trying to do their their strength and their workouts, and you can see that their fatigue is setting in, and I've helped many people who have passed out in the gym and, and actually been there. I've actually been talking to people and asking them, hey, you know, how's it going with your workout today? And and I've been there when they pass out because, and had the, or had them just before they, we have them sit on the floor and go get them some orange juice or something like that because they didn't eat anything throughout the morning. They didn't eat anything throughout the day. They're trying to do fasting workouts and it causes them to, to uh, get such low blood sugars that they become unconscious. So we don't want that to happen. That's not our point of getting uh, solid tone muscle and, and working on developing that that tone abdominal area, which you can see those muscles um, in the abdominal wall. 
So we need to make sure our blood sugar is up and we can have a good workout. Now, working from the extremities to get to the abdominal core, that's the second part of this, right? Making it simple. How do you, how, in a simple word, how do you get those abs, right? So we want to, our, our abdominals and our, our apple shape for men or pear shape body fat storage for women means that we're going to hold more body fat in our center. So if we're trying to do uh, some strategic 48-hour reductions of calories and then bringing it back up for a day, and then 48 hours again of reduction of calories just two days in a row because we don't want to slow our metabolism down by going more than two days of reduced calories. So if we're doing the proper 48-hour fat burn solution technique here where we we don't slow our metabolism down, but we strategically reduce for two days to remember it's uh, 65% of your active metabolism. So you want to know where your active metabolism is. Then you can come down to about 1430 for women, 1855 for men, and uh, and just come down about 65% of your active and then go back up so you so you keep your active metabolism rolling. Uh, then you'll, you're going to see your, your body fat loss come off, and you're going to see it come off around your knees, around your elbows, your arms, your shoulders, your hips some. You're going to see those first. You can measure that fat loss with a tape measure, right? You can see it coming in the definition of the arms, see it coming in the definition of the thighs or the hamstrings. And then as you continue to do that process, you will get to the point where, yes, the training that you do, to make your anaerobic fast twitch muscle and the muscle, strong muscle fibers of the abdominals condition the strong muscle fibers of the, at the thighs and the hips and the shoulders and the chest and the back and the arms. You do that training and you're going to be able to see that definition is there. It's getting firm. It's getting solid. And, and you, but you keep making sure you're doing your cardio and you're doing your nutrition plan to make sure that you're reducing your calories strategically and you will get the definition in the abdominal wall, right? But we're working and we're seeing it happen from the extremities to the core. So you you see, maybe making sense of this for you, making sure that you understand that where you gain most of the body fat is going to be in that center core and down to hips and thighs and the core, the abdominals. So it's going to come off and it's going to it's going to end up getting to the the fat loss is going to be um, last to be shown to get the abdominal definition right there. So that's the simple look at how to get that six-pack abdominal core firm, solid tone. Um, I want to make sure that you you know you follow the uh, you know the link below here in our uh, description to an article talking about some of these things. We have many articles and videos available for you at Mind Muscle Memory and our social channels. Um, so please come on board, look at Mind Muscle Memory, become a muscle equalizer where you're making sure your top and bottom are equal strength, your right and left are equal strength, and you're, um, you're creating this muscle tone by doing strength training and getting the anaerobic fast twitch muscle fibers uh, tone and using them as well as your cardiovascular slow twitch muscle fibers doing your aerobic training and doing your cardio hill training or called hit training and you make sure you're doing all those things in a system with your plant-based diet which again is is amazing you, you don't it's not about you know eliminating anything it's about what you bring into your meals your three meals and one healthy snack a day what you bring into those meals is going to be plant-based meals and you nothing's off limit but you want to make sure you combine your your plant-based foods to make sure that you have and a time to release bolus of food going down from that holding tank of the stomach through to the intestinal tubes and having an excellent digestion and getting your recommended amount of dietary fiber every day. So that's the sticky fiber diet from the 48 hour fat burn solution, the book I uh, published out there on Amazon that's available through Balboa Press and at this time and, uh, and I have links to those as well. So I look forward to hearing from you. Please join us on our social media channels, come to the website and see all the amazing things we have available for you to learn how to get the six pack and to make it simplify it for you. And, uh, and you, we look forward to hearing from you and also uh, seeing you on the next, hearing from you on the next podcast.
So thank you so much again. Miles Betcher here, uh, Bachelor of Health Sciences from UMass Lowell. And uh, look forward to on the, hearing from you on the next podcast. Thank you so much. Have a great day.